What is up, my puffer people? It is like in your puffer pal back with another video. And today, I'm bringing you my week five match in the DP DA. We are against my boy, Choleric Colors, aka 3100 DP, aka. David Fogel. He has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. Love the guy. Don't actually love the guy. Guy. Just kidding. Um, nah, he's a great guy. He's really nice. Definitely check him out. And with that being said, I also hate him. And this is one of the least entertaining battles ever. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, well, let's just, we'll get into this. Anyway, his team is Excadrill, Tangerth, Whimsicott, Yuxi, Alolan Persian, Pylosaurn, Mega Amphor, Spirit Tomb, Embor, Rabami, and... Toxapex. Anyway, so my team is Victini, which is banded, I believe, with a Bolt Strike V Create. You turn, you know, the standard set. Pretty standard. It's a pretty standard set. Like, I didn't really bring Victini. Then Combine Finny with Ice Beam, Moonblast, Hydro Pump for the coverage for basically his whole team except Toxapex. But if I took off Ice Beam, Tanger, the Wild May, if I took off. Moon Blast, I get walled by a uh, Spirit Team. So, and I took off Hydra Pump. Then Embor and Excadrill were good counters to me. So yeah. Then Kamo with Mental Herb. If he brought Whimsicott, I wanted to set up a Dragon Dam. Oh, it has Poison Jab, Earthquake, and Drain Punch. And basically what I was hoping for was I set up a Dragon Dance and he switches into Whimsicott. So he thinks he could click Encore, he can't because of the Mental Herb, and then I Poison Jab him and kill him. Then we have a pretty standard, not, yeah, it's standard, Sticky Webs, Bug Buzz, Thunder, and, uh, Energy Ball for coverage. Then f Physical, Flame Orb, Gut, Swallow with Brave Bird, Facade, U-Turn, Protect, and, uh, Mega Steelix with, like, you know, the coverage of Steel, Grant, Earthquake, uh, and, uh, Stone Edge. So let's get into this battle. Okay. So I played really bad at the beginning. I'm just going to tell you now. So I want my, I obviously want Sticky Webs up, but I also don't want him to kill me. So I just double out into Mega Steelix because I know I could take any hit and hit him back with a really hard hit. So then I just go into you and click Earthquake, which does a clean percent. Then I switch out, predicting the Willow into Swellow, because I'm like, okay, so Swellow is Guts. So burning me, he's just doing my job for me, before the doing the Flame Orb's job for it. So I feel like there was no point. So we so we get burned, and then I click Brave Bird, which of course he just goes Toxapex. He goes Toxapex, I take Recoil. <sighs> then he clicks Baneful Bunker. As I click Facade. And then I think he... What does he do? He doubles the Spirit Tomb, I believe. Yes, he does, as I click Facade again. Because it just hits so much harder than Brave Bird. Not so much harder, but harder. And then he doubles back into the Toxapex. And as you can see, he's just stalling. I'm just gonna... And basically, my swell goes down. I go into Galvantula and set up the Sticky Webs as he goes into Point Slope Dexcuja. So, and he clicks Rapid Spin. Oh, I actually had Hidden Power Fighting. I forgot about that. I didn't have Energy Ball. Oh, gosh. Anyway, and I get my Sticky Webs back up because I feel they're pretty important. And then I just let Galvantula go to end because it's not too important as I click Bug Buzz. Get decent damage off. And he power jumps. So at this point, I'm like, okay, it's well, this isn't that bad. I go Mega Steelix because obviously, you know, type advantage and stuff. As he goes out to Tangorth, and I just click Earthquake and don't get too good of damage, but okay damage. Then he goes out to Toxapox. As I click the Fire Fang. Oh, yeah, I, I just. I had Fire Fang for that because of the heat. And then he doubles back into the Tangrowth. As I click Earthquake, which again, 
he's not really getting anything out of this. Like, I'm not taking damage. I get he's getting the regenerator back. But as we click Focus Blast, we do eat that, and we do get the Fire Fang off, taking him down to 50%. And he just clicks Giga Drain and kills me. At this point, it might look bleak, but it does get better. I'm like, okay, this isn't the end of the world. I go into Kamau out. I'm like, okay, this isn't that bad. And then at this point, I'm like, uh, I saw the Dragon Bands, but I'm like, uh, I know you have Willow. I really don't want to let you get, let my Kamau get Willowed. So I double back into, double, I go back into Victini knowing Willow does not affect me. And I just click V-Create, I believe. Or Bolt Strike, one of the two. I'm pretty sure V-Create. Oh no, I'm special. What am I doing? I didn't bring- I brought Light Expert Belt. What am I talking about? So it's Expert Belt Feeny with Psych- With Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, you know, the heat. So I click Psychic. It's pretty easy. I click Psychic again. Oh no, I click Searing Shot because I'm like, I just revealed Psychic. You would have to be stupid to stay in, in a po with a po Okay, you wouldn't have to be stupid if you're watching this. Uh, obviously, you're not stupid. But you, you, why would... There's literally no point in losing your Toxapex to a Psychic when you know I have it. So I'm thinking, okay, he's definitely going out to, like, Spiritomb or Excadrill. Or Tangrowth, maybe, even. But he just stays in and clicks Scald for some reason. Apparently, he didn't care at all about it. So then I, I'm just like, okay, clearly he doesn't care at all about this Pokemon. And I just click Psychic at this point. Or, yeah, I just click Psychic. And now, this was a misplay on his part. Definitely, I think. I click Psychic again, and he goes out to the Ember. That I really didn't get, but it's like, whatever. I took it. I'm like, I'll take a kill. Then he goes back into Remnant, and I, I'm like, okay, I'll just sag this off, go out to, uh, you. At this point, I forgot Sticky Webs were up, and I'm like, okay, he might outspeed my Kamau or something like that. So I, no, he might outspeed my Finny, because I forgot about that, so I just went Kamau and clicked Earthquake. As he goes back into Spirit Tomb, I believe. Yep. And we're like, uh, I'm like, okay, he can't st Willow my Finny. Finny in the Misty Terrain, because as we all know, Misty Terrain blocks, uh, like, status like that and toxic and stuff. And then I, I'm like, okay, this is the perfect chance, now I can start setting up Calm Mind. He goes for the Ice Wind, I'm like, um, okay, I don't really need speed. So, anyway, at this point, I think I set up another Calm Mind. Yes, I do. And at this point, I don't really have anything for tax effects, but this is where the game gets really boring, guys. So I click Hydro, it does a lot, but he does have the Haze, which I wasn't surprised by, like, see, it's not that shocking of a thing. People do run Haze tax effects. As he goes to anger, and I believe I set up another Calm Mind, I do. Now, this was, I don't know if this mattered, I believe it did. I'm pretty sure it mattered. The crit, it might have been a roll, depend I think it was a roll depending on his spread. So it probably mattered. Odds are it mattered, but it might not have if he was like running really, really. Now you might be wondering why, okay, so you might be like, Kane, but you have a Kamo in the back. Why would you not switch out? Cause I can't, the problem was I can't risk my Kamo out. I needed, I kind of needed Kamo. I felt like it could win me the game still. So I'm like, okay, if I could keep this low enough, and even if I let it kill my Finny, I, he goes Excadrill. I could set up a Dragon Dance. Hope it doesn't kill me with, uh, what's it called? Burn me with Scald, and then just win from there. Now he goes out to Point Slope, goes for that, and flinches. Then... He does it again, I believe, but does not get the flinch, and we do connect Hydro Pump and kill. At this point, when I turn 38, I'm just gonna go to turn 54. Okay, wait. 
Actually, yeah. So, for a while, as you can see, Fenny, it was just Fennyverse. Pax, as he spammed to recover, he is in Scald. And Scald literally, it was, the problem was, he went for unnecessary stuff. And Scald was doing 4%. It was just boring. Like, it was just boring. Like, I didn't want to waste your time showing you that part. And now, at this point, I just have to click Dragon Dance if I want any way of winning. He just will as me, and basically, there's no way of me winning at this point, because I can't do enough damage. Shadow Claw doesn't even kill. Oh, I ran Shadow Claw. I'm so stupid. For you can see, because otherwise, it wild me. Yeah, so definitely check him out, but that was a really boring battle. Tax Effects vs. Finny went on for, like, a long time. Like, I skipped over it, but it was annoying. And, like, it was just, like, I, could, I had no healing, and he just spammed Recover Haze. So, yeah, it got annoying at times. But what are you gonna do? GG to my man, Clark. We are now 3-2. and two. I'll see all you dudes next time. Until next time, my puffer people. Stay. What am I doing? I don't know. Stay puffed.